Now to the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. Nearly 200 evacuees from China quarantined for 14 days in California are being released today. They've been held at a military base in Southern California. CBS 4's Danya Backus has more on their release. Evacuees threw their masks in the air like graduation caps before leaving March Air Reserve Base in Moreno Valley, California. They were on the first emergency flight from China that arrived back in the U.S. exactly 14 days ago. Tuesday, health officials gave each a final health screening and deemed them coronavirus free. And everyone within the cohort passed their health screening. Many boarded buses to take them to airports and eventually home. So glad to be out. I mean, it's been a long journey getting here, but it's just really nice to be finally out and getting home. The CDC says there are no confirmed coronavirus cases here, but about 80 miles south at a military base in San Diego, the CDC says an evacuee there is the 13th confirmed case in the U.S. That person has been isolated and hospitalized. The CDC says the risk to Americans remains low, and recent research shows in many cases the virus is on par with the flu or cold in terms of severity. The 13 individuals in the United States have not yet had very very severe illness. In fact, most have had very mild courses. The World Health Organization has now given the coronavirus an official name, COVID-19. The group also began a two-day summit in Geneva to better understand the virus that has sickened over 43,000 people and killed over 1,000, most of them in China. Donya Back is CBS News, Moreno Valley, California. China has launched an app that allows people to check whether they have been in close contact with a person who has been confirmed or suspected of having the virus.